is up everybody night batman here with another trailer reaction and review and i'm gonna be reviewing the latest trailer for spider-man homecoming this is again the first official spider-man movie in the marvel cinematic universe and i can't wait to see this new look at the movie and uh you know just to get a good taste of what's to come for spidey so without further ado let's get right into the trailer Oh, nice. What's up, guys? <laughs> so, to become an Avenger, are there like trials or any of you? Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider Man? Just, just stay close to the ground. You're the Spider Man from YouTube. From YouTube. <laughs> Can you summon an army of spiders? No, Ned, no. Do you know him, too? Can I try the sword? Sword shield. <laughs> the rich and the powerful, like Stark, they don't care about us. The world's changing, boys. Time we change too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. Your legal weapons barrier was at 230. You missed it. What the? Oh. oh, is there silver on this? I was just trying to be like you. I wanted you to be better. I'm gonna need the suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Come on. You're screwed up. You need to stop carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I'll do anything to protect my family. Ooh, whoa. I know you know what I'm talking about. Because I'll kill you and everybody you love. My friends are there. The guy is still out there. I just gotta do this on my own. Oh. Wow. Just don't do anything stupid. Oh ho ho ho! Alright? Yeah. Dang! Okay, um... That was a really epic trailer. <laughs> uh, I like this trailer a lot more than the last trailer. I like the seriousness in this, but I like how there is still some lightheartedness in it. Um, I'm liking how his friend is, um, you know, asking him so many questions about being Spider-Man. And uh, I also love most especially how this really shows the world uh, after it's been affected by the Avengers, as we can see the high school students watching a educational video that actually has Captain America in it, or seeing news videos with Tony Stark in it. This feels like a more personal story for Peter as he tries to prove himself as Spider-Man without, um, you know, the, the tech in his suit that Tony Stark gave him. And I really like that about that. Like, it really shows like it's a very character-driven story and something about Peter still proving himself and, you know how he's he's still a beginner and how he's trying to just find his own way which is uh it's like kind of a good coming of age for a young hero like peter especially since this is him at a young age i think he's like 15 in this or 16. i love how he, we get to see his uh prototype suit or his like very mark one kind of suit that we kind of saw hints at in um the captain america civil war and how it's gonna be having a bigger role in this and man i just felt so much for peter as he's just trying to fight off vulture on his own and uh seeing him still just pull out that suit the scene with um him trying to hold together the ship so that it doesn't sink looks even more epic and i love that struggle and how he's trying to use all the strength he has and i didn't expect iron man to even jump in there and try and help him out and when i kind of saw that it looked like his suit had some silver in it so it actually kind of reminded me of his suit in ultimate iron man where it looks a little bigger and you know it has that red and gray or red and silver to it 
Uh, I know that the Centurion armor has that red and silver, but since it looks like a darker silver or like more of a gray, it reminds me a lot like uh, of the Ultimate Iron Man suit. That, so that's like a nice little throwback there. I didn't expect the suit to have even that much more tech to it, like how um, when he presses it, uh, uh, I think the emblem, it kind of compresses more onto his body. And that actually just make a little more sense if you actually think about it when you look at his suit. And um, that spider emblem flying out, I don't know what to think about that. I'm assuming it's like a camera or I don't know, but we didn't really get to see much of it. But uh, I'm interested to see where they go with that. And I hope that maybe this is a step to him maybe just making his own suit and making something um, a little less technical and just more simple since his, you know, his classic suit is more simple. But uh, of course, design wise, it really does follow more to the Steve Ditko and the early Spider-Man design of all the Marvel movies in phase three. I think I'm more excited for this and Avengers Infinity War parts one and two. Uh, or well one and two because they it's not really split into parts anymore It's just they're gonna have infinity war and then the the continuation after that, but yeah, I'm really excited for this movie uh, Spider-man is my second favorite hero and I even dressed accordingly as you can see here uh, Really excited for this movie can't wait and I think Tom Holland is doing a great job And I can't wait for him to just solidify himself as Peter Parker in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and uh, with audiences as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this uh, trailer reaction and review with me. Uh, please feel free to share your favorite moments from the trailer in the comments below or um, who do you think is the better Spider-Man? Do you, do you feel convinced uh, since Civil War or now that it's Tom Holland or do you still prefer Andrew Garfield or Tobey Maguire? I strongly prefer Tom Holland. I think he's doing great at handling the seriousness and the emotional aspect to it and um you know just the youth to it and uh he's just like a really fun actor and he's really giving a lot of charisma to spider-man so can't wait to see more of that play out and how his friend uh deals with finding out that uh you know he's peter so uh that has been my reaction and review thank you guys so much for watching if you would like to uh check out the trailer without my reaction please feel free to check the uh link in the description below and check it out and other than that thank you guys for watching and take care later